from a parallel universe, light years away, comes Little Green Man. What are you doing now? Watching a live video feed on my TV? What's that? Well, it's a box that lets us see, in this case, 5,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. What's down there? That's where BP is working on their latest well cap. This one's yellow. Whoa, the picture's pretty good. Yeah, we love it when our environmental disasters have good visuals. Little submarines and crying tourists make it even better. You just don't get that kind of TV with some dead zone in the Gulf. Sure, it's 8,500 square miles of dead nothingness, but on TV, that's about as exciting as, um, as, uh, watching the ethanol industry spray fertilizer all day long. I mean, you're never gonna see a melting glacier cam. It, it just wouldn't get the ratings. I don't think I'd tune in till the very end. See, there's a lot of other stories, but it's got to look good on TV. You know, millions of fish are disappearing all over the world, but maybe if you could, like, put Anderson Cooper in a tuna submarine or something, then we'd watch. We're best at watching things that are really big, gloopy, and messy, unless they're far away and foreign. And then we just have them supply 40% of our oil so we can run our cars and make plastic stuff. And invisible things? Whoa, those are really bad on TV. There's about 30,000 deaths here every year from pollution in the air. But it's not like those people drop dead all at once. I mean, I guess then you'd have some camera crews rolling. Uh, maybe even a countdown or something. So what else do you watch on your TV? Oh, mostly ads for cars and trucks and neat plastic things we can buy. You humans are weird. Yeah, but we invented the tuna fish sandwich. Want one? Pew.